Greetings. I know you're wondering, Stephen, what are you doing? It's not Sunday school yet. <clears throat> well, that's right. It's not Sunday school time yet. But I'm in uh, the church and where the staff, we thought we wanted to share some midweek devotionals to connect with you a little more during the week. And so that's what we're doing. I'm first up. So hooray. And we miss being near you guys. And so that's why we thought about doing this. And we grieve that we can't see you, be around you the way we're accustomed to. So here you go. Midweek devotionals. And so I wanted to look at the Song of Songs, which I've been teaching in Sunday School. So feel free to check it out. Um, and it's been impactful to me, uh, just the beauty of love. And But one of the themes in the book about love is the seeking after love, seeking for love. And in the book, The Betrothed Couple... They find themselves distant from one another. And so they seek after one another. They're looking for one another. Even when it is difficult for them, they are seeking after one another. And in one passage, the, the girl of the poem is having a dream. And she finds herself, again, distant from her beloved. She can't find him, but she wants to be near him. And so she seeks after him. And this is what the text says from the third chapter, verses one through three. On my bed by night, I sought him whom my soul loves. I sought him, but found him not. I will rise now and go about the city, in the streets and in the squares. I will seek him whom my soul loves. I sought him, but found him not. The watchman found me at as they went about in the city. And I asked them, have you seen him whom my soul loves? And so even in her dream, she can't find him. She's looking for him. She goes through the city looking for him. And even the watchman, she's like, have you seen him? And there's this seeking after love that it's worth it. it it's worth going to great extents and lengths to, to find the beloved. And I wanted to take a step back and apply that to what we're dealing with now in this time of COVID. We, we have the same longings to be near our friends and our loved ones. But how can we seek them out even when it's difficult? And so I'm going to give three ways to seek love during a time of distance. And the first way is spiritual. We can pray. The Lord is always near. But, and so we can seek Him for our loved ones. And in the spirit of prayer, we could do a prayer walk for our neighbors, for our family, for our church, for our school. We can cover everything in prayer. Since more people are getting out and walking these days, why not pray while you do it? Because... Prayer is drawing near to God. It is getting close to Him. He is not distant during this time. Hebrews 4.16 says, Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And the second way to seek love during the time of distance is technological. You can get a phone out and call people or text people. You could call one person a day, text one person a day. I know in Uganda, this is very, I think this is what they do. Because every now and again, I would get messages or calls from people just saying, Hi, how are you doing? Even today, I get those messages through Facebook. They'll often message me and, and say, Hey, what's up? And I reply, and, and, that, and so it goes. But it just shows me that they're thinking about me. And we can do the same. 
And of course, uh, I know everyone is zoomed out, but there's other tools like Zoom or Google Meet up. I think that's what it's called, but there's many options, but Zoom is one. You can talk to them and see them. You can schedule a meeting. Uh, Brooke and I have even played games with others over Zoom. And of course, we can go with the, the known just to be in their presence, but an appropriate presence. You, you can do a drive-by chat. Go drive by somebody's house and, and say hi. You can have social distanced coffee, which somebody is going to come up with a clever coffee blend based on this name. It's just, it's coming. And of course, at our church, small groups are starting up. And, you, you know, we have virtual options and person options, and we're considering all the factors of today. So find the group that's right for you, and, and it's a way to connect during this time. And let us not forget those we are at home with. We need to seek them as well. We can be intentional with them as we grieve and be with them as they grieve the loss of being near friends. And so towards our spouses and our family, let us be intentional towards them. Let us draw near to them in this time. And there's um, traditionally three ways that families can worship together. Uh, with your spouse or with uh, your children. And basically, three. let me give you three easy things. Read a passage, pray, and sing a song. It's, it's that easy. Some people read with their family in the morning. Some people read right before dinner. And some people uh, do it before bedtime. And when we do it, we don't always do it, but we do it before bedtime. And we read a passage, we talk about it, we sing a song, and we pray. Um, though we don't do that as often as we should. But that's a way for, for you and I to connect with our family and, and during this time. So we need to ask ourselves, are we seeking our spouses, our kids? And this is a special note also to consider our single friends. that They don't have that company at home necessarily. And so to invite them over or to, in appropriate ways or to visit with them through phone or Zoom, to, to be looking out for them as well. And the reason we seek out love in a time of distance is because Christ sought us out. We were distant from him, and yet he sought us out. It wasn't easy for him, but because he loved us, he did it. And so knowing that we are loved, let us seek others out in love. And so I need some other ideas for myself. So share below in the comments how you are seeking others during this time of distance. And then we can all see and learn and celebrate what God is doing in seeking out love in a time of distance.